Alright, I see a lot of guys using heat to take this screw out as well as that one over there. And with a Volkswagen, that ain't what you need to do. You want to get a screwdriver or something up in here, you want to spread these open because when they pinch, they lock down on this screw so it won't back out. So, I can tap this through here a little bit. Which I'm probably not already bent that out a little bit with the screwdriver as well as this one. Now I'm able to turn the screw. Let me back out on that thread a little bit more so I can try to knock it out. Turn the screw for me. Which way? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. Go another way. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to back this nut out a little bit more. So when I tap on the screw, I don't damage the thread. Okay. See, it's already pretty loose. So I don't need any lubricant, no torch. gonna make y'all watch all of this I'll come back when I'm putting it in or putting it together thanks for watching go down just below the nut to finish pulling it out there. There we go. Well, I could tear this tag off, but when I finish using this tool, I want to take it back to AutoZone. <laughs> yep, there she goes. Come on, baby. And that's how you take the screw out of the upper control arm on a Volkswagen and Audi. I'm actually a collision repair technician of 25 years and mechanic, part uh, R and I mechanic. There we go. All right, now I'm going to pull this screw out with the old claw hammer. fingers like pliers. That's why I'm so good with RC helicopters because I've been mechanic work, like I said, for 25 years. Now, I've worked for four dealerships. I've worked in million dollar facilities. I started out in a place called Beverly Mercedes in Beverly Hill Hills. Actually, I started there as a car washer, but I had already been doing mechanic work when I was since I was 16, brake jobs, 
So later we'll get to do a break job. On Not where only these bushings, uh, these bursts busted, but if you look inside here, these are also cracked. I almost twisted around, look at that. Yep, because in here it's solid. So, if you have any issues, your boot doesn't necessarily have to be busted from here. It could also be busted from, in, from the inside there. And that, my friend, is how you replace the upper control arms on a Volkswagen or Audi. No torch, no penetrating oil. I see another motherfucker burning up all these boots and shit hitting there with a torch to my heating that shit up, man. I'm a 